Hi friends, Naji here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this series of tutorial on MCP server and the LAN graph, we have discussed a few things, right? We have discussed how can we create a MCP server and how can we connect it using multi-server MCP client. And we also encapsulate uh, this um, MCP server using FastAPI and we try to connect it using the stream app, right? So all those things that you have done. So in this video, we will try to connect with the external MCP server. So here we will be using the Jira MCP server and we will try to query against that particular MCP server. Okay. So that is the agenda of this tutorial. So here for that, what, what, what I have created, I have created a free account of account in uh, Jira. Okay. And um, here uh, we can see, see this is my Jira account here we can see um my project and uh, there is one task is created for me create a video tutorial of jira mcp server okay and we will see how can we access this particular uh, this particular task details of naji then we will try to query against that okay and for that they have already created a mcp server okay so the mcp server information so this is the tutorial that they have shared okay so here they are showing how can we connect it using or how can we create a mcp server of jira okay so there are um, a couple of ways that they have mentioned so we will be following uh, like one of the method okay so you guys can um, go through this um, github repo and you guys explore it more okay so for the easiness what i have done i have created a um, a small note so that okay, we can go through this particular um, video okay so here we can see first we need to log into the uh, the site okay so here we can go to site and what we need to do we need to create a api key for that okay so to create api api key we can click on this um, profile okay just go to the profile uh, then okay maybe uh, we have to go to the account settings not the profile we have to go to the account settings okay just go to the account settings and um, go to the security okay so here go and click on the api token so create and manage api token okay so this will send a to ask you for a two factor authentication and they they have sent a uh, a code so that we need to give it to them so i am checking that code uh, i have received or not uh, just a second uh, okay so i got that code so the code is uh, let me type it here five four five six two six four eight okay so this is the code so here we can create a api token okay so i'm i'll be i have created two api tokens so i'm not going to create like um, anything new here for this video you guys can go click on here just go give a name and expiry date then you will be able to create a token okay so once you have the token okay then you can go to the github repo that i have mentioned earlier okay so here they have mentioned what we need to do okay so create a api token and copy the token then we need to run this particular docker okay so for that um so let me do a docker pull okay this is the copy let me select the last one so just copy this and paste it into console maybe let me paste it here okay so here I have already downloaded. So in your case, it may take some time. Okay, based on your network uh, speed. Okay. So once this is done, okay. So what we what we need to do? Just let me go back to the tutorial part. Okay. So once this is done, so this is the configuration that we need to keep. So let me scroll it down a little bit. Okay. So this is the configuration that we need to give into our client. Okay, so the client can be anything. We can keep the, the cloud A and or we can keep our uh, programmable client also. Okay, so here we need to give the few things. So the command is docker and we have to pass these many arguments. Okay, 
then we have to pass the environment okay so instead of giving like this we can also pass in a environment file okay so here instead of passing like this we can also give a environment file and we can uh, mention the environment environment file path also here okay for the time being uh, i will be using uh, this particular format okay so here also i am using only very minimum data i will be using only the jira url and jira username and jira api token only okay the confluence page uh, currently i am not going to use for in this tutorial okay so so i hope that is clear so for the simplicity i have already created a client for this one okay so let me come here i will show you this one this is the same code that we have done for uh, in our previous tutorial so i am not going to explain like each and everything with respect to this code okay so the requirement for file all the requirement file text is also there okay the same same thing okay so what we are going to do so here i have created a function that is test jira and we, we are creating a multi server mcp client here then passing the command as a docker okay so ensure that you have docker in your machine is installed then we need to pass the arguments the similar to the tutorial we are passing the run command and we are uh, passing some environment here so this is the only environment variable that we are passing jira url jira username and jira api token so this is also um, we are passing here the url is also we are passing then um, here you can see this is the url that we need to share so this is the jira url that you will get it from the jira itself if you go to the jira uh, okay where is my jira here okay so this is my jira here so i am going i copied this one naji so till dot net is copied okay now i have given to here and this is my jira username and uh, this is my jira api token okay then the transport that we are using is the stdio so when we scroll down so here we are we are creating a client okay so this is the client and we are using the get tools so this will give us all the tools available in this jira and we are just printing the tool tool name here okay and we'll see how this will work okay so i'm going to run the code uh, i can use jira here jira.py and let me see if i could able to connect that it is testing server so it seems to be working fine so this list out the information of the tools that is available okay here it says get uh, jira underscore get user profile jira underscore get issue jira search jira search field okay so there are a lot of things are there so we can check the description and we can use uh, we can try to like uh, access the access this details based on the description okay so that is fine now what we can do so we can as we did in our previous video so let me uh, create a create react agent we can create a agent and we'll try to access the tools or we are trying to query the tools using the agent so here i can mention the model as a uh, gpt 40 you can have the gpt 40 and i can mention the tool says tool okay so since it's already there so let me copy from here so this is the same thing that i'm going to use okay maybe i can select till here so let me copy and paste it here okay. so here instead of math response i'm just giving response only here i can pass um, the question will be give me give me the project details okay here i'm just changing the response dot conduct we execute this okay so this is testing the server okay so the execution is in progress we'll see the result okay here we can see the details here you say that project name is jira premium benefit in five minutes and there is one project called the my scrum project so let me go back and check check it here so this is the project my scrum project and i can check um, the task is assigned to naji 
so let me change this give me task assign to Naji Abu let me see this will work or not okay I'm executing it so it's in progress okay see the details scrum 15 create a video tutorial on jira mcp and this is the test video and status is to do and uh, priorities medium and everything is i'm getting right so it seems to be working fine as we expected now what we can do we can integrate this with our streamlit tab okay so it is very simple you guys can this is my streamlit streamlit tab that we have created in our last video okay and let me close this one okay i don't want to make it confused so this is the the fast api that you have created in our last video so what i'm going to do i'm going to add my mcp uh, the jira mcp server here okay for that i'm just going to copy and paste from here okay so copy and pasting is very easy rather than uh, writing it because that may cause some errors I believe I did it correctly no I didn't so here we need to have a comma so the, for the readability let me give a ender here fine okay now we are good now here we have three more i mean two more servers are there one is map server and second one is the weather server so to work it let me make the service running so i can make python weather.py is let me go run it so it is started in 8000 pod here i'm going to run uh, unicorn you can say main app i'm going to run the the fast api okay here i can mention port as 80 80 80 the same thing that you have been now, now last time okay now and it is unicorn okay. okay so it is also working fine good now we can start our app file okay so i can we can run our streamlit okay let me do a control set here so i have my streamlit run app.py okay so this is happening because this is in a different browser let me copy and paste it here in our uh, crop okay so this is my agent now i can ask i can first i can test what is the what is the weather in new york let me see it's working okay it's giving me answer and i can see add two plus two <coughs> so the adding the result is four okay fine now i can ask the same question give me project details in Jira uh, okay project key name okay it is asking about uh, too many things um, I don't want to give the details because uh, the memory is not added here okay so give me how many projects are available available in Jira let me see this will give any value okay so this is giving me the details okay so the same way this is giving the details and I can give the same question give me um, task assign to uh, here
okay so this is processing under the hood okay so we are getting the task assigned to nagi maybe uh, let me try a experiment i have not done it. let me try to change this um, median to highest okay now let me repeat the same code okay. let me see like this is already saved or not the priority is highest okay let me ask the same details here give me task assign to Nagi above this may take some time we'll see okay so we are getting the priorities changed from medium to highest this is working perfect so um, that is the agenda of this video i think i have covered it and what i will do i will commit this into my github repo and you guys can download and use it and the easiest way you can also refer the uh, the repository the tutorial the github repo that they have shared and you can use like any different methods also okay so that is all about in this video. Please do like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.